What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. We've got the Brazil player pack review. I know a few of you guys will be asking for this one. So you've got the version of Neymar from June 2014. This is from a specific match that he played in. So he does have his appearance uh, there, as we'll get to it. We'll just see here now. So yeah, he does have his hairstyle and his appearance, uh, and he looks absolutely beastly. We'll get to him in a second. But the rest of the players there, Marquine Marquinhos, Fred, Rafinha, Gabriel, Bruno, uh, Danilo, Ederson, Fabinho, Richarlison, and Lucas Paquita. Uh, it's a fairly okay pack. I mean, they're missing Vinicius Jr. I think would have been a big one, even though there's been a lot of cards released of him. I think Thiago Silva would have been a nice card to have in there as well. Uh, but yeah, it is it is a fairly nice pack. And I think, again, if you are going to be getting this one, it is for the Neymar pack that or the Neymar card. That is kind of what you're going to be getting. So uh, going through a lot of these players, they do have some good levels. So, you know, you can see here that they've got some fairly nice levels. Richarlison, we'll get to him in a second. But we are going to be picking to focus on Rafinha, Neymar and Fabinho because we haven't really focused on Fabinho that much yet. Fred, Marquinhos and Gabriela Bruno. I mean, they're all kind of running the mill uh, for their position um but yeah we'll keep this a bit shorter and sweeter because we do have a lot of reviews to get to today and i'm just going to cover the, ma the main things what you guys need to know there's no point to adding a load of fluff to it or over complicating it uh so yeah lucas Paqueta. obviously he's kind of been having a good season uh but he is on derating at the moment with that low form or the standard form, I should say, which is a bit of a pity to his card, uh, because I think this guy could have been very exciting to play with, uh, because he has got some really nice player skills and stats. But yeah, the ball control, the speed, the tight possession, all that sort of stuff is good if you are going to be playing him as an AMF. But as with a lot of these cards, the problem is, is that there are better alternatives out there for quite cheap, so you don't really need to get it. As I said, you should only be getting this pack if you want Neymar, and maybe, I would say, Fabinho uh, as well, who we'll get to in a second Richarlison again uh, I think overshadowed slightly by a lot of the other wingers in the game he because he doesn't have unwavering form or anything like that but yeah you're getting what you get here in a normal winger you're getting that you can play left wing center forward or right wing so he's kind of like Son uh, for Tottenham that can play those formation or those uh, positions 80 dribbling 77 acceleration and 79 speed is quite decent as well uh, which will bring it up to with his 29 levels you'll get 90 90 90 in his dribbling but again his passing his card is very similar to Rafinha which we'll cover in a second so you can kind of link the two of those together uh, we will leave Fabinho for a second Ederson again just a very typical goalkeeper his reflexes let him down a small bit uh, interesting that Allison isn't in this pack it is Ederson that they go with but yeah again he's on B rating uh, uh, yeah like look all of these goalkeepers lads again with all these I keep saying again 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 but all of these goalkeepers they do repeat after a while because once you have a top five goalkeeper you don't need anybody else and I don't think Ederson is in the top five similarly with Danilo he's not a top 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 right back he's got fairly nice decent stats kind of all around he does have unwavering form so if you do get this pack interception and blocker oh actually he's quite decent lads yeah I've kind of over over uh overlook this guy a little bit acceleration is good defense is good passing is good dribbling is good yeah this guy's actually quite a bit of a beast lads he's got pinpoint crosser and long ranger and blocker interception which is the two that you need fighting spirit he can play left jesus lads this guy is actually a bit of a monster i wish i checked him out earlier we might actually feature him as well uh, if we if we get a look over on eFootball db jesus lads he is an absolute tank actually I can't believe I overlooked this guy. I did look at his stats, but maybe it was the other version I was looking at, uh, which was, yeah, it was. It was the other version I was looking at. Uh, but yeah, look, 90 stamina, 80 dribbling, 83 tackling, 81 engagement, 87 speed and 85 acceleration, kick and power 89, ball control quite high as well. Passing, yeah, very decent, lads. Very serv serviceable. Definitely a good player. He's, he's 93 either left or right back. Definitely one to watch. He would be uh, an addition on this pack as well. Definitely, 100% now. Uh, he is looking like an absolute tank, lads. I know I've seen a few people featuring, but I didn't think he was that good. Bruno, again, yeah, we focus on Bruno. Uh, we did, I think we did a player of the week review with him a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he was in that one of the packs. But yeah, he's got unwavering form, C rating. He's got a load of player skills. Not bad at all. 72 acceleration and 69 speed. Let his card down a little bit. But if you're just looking for a pure passer... He's not a bad option to have in the middle of the pitch, especially with those player skills. Next up, we've got Gabriel from Arsenal. 
Uh, he's on B rating this week for the live update. Interception, he doesn't have blocker, but he has interception. He's standard form as well. The team play style proficiency, obviously, he can slot in into any squad. A lot of people raving about this guy, lads, but I haven't actually seen it. I think there are still a lot of better center backs in the game than him, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, not bad defensively either. Uh, and always going to be an, an interesting one to have if you're an Arsenal fan. Rafinha will focus on a minute. Fred the Red, again, you're going to talk about Fred. He's a great in midfield I still think he's a little bit too small for centre midfield like if you have Makalele you'll probably be used to Makalele and Makalele is way better defensively <coughs> excuse me but Fred is more of a passer and yeah you're not going to really want to have him in the ball in the pitch I mean Verratti is probably a better option there and Marquinhos one of the best center backs in the game he does have a wavering form he does have blocker interception man marking acrobatic clearance and heading he's quite uh fast as well he's not the slowest player he's got really good defense stats and yeah he would be a top 10 he would be a top 10 center half lads definitely um especially having that ball control that is very key with the way the first touch is gone with v2.2 as well so moving on to the three guys that we wanted to have featured we have Rafinha here and Fabinho so Rafinha we're going to head over to his card because he's got an incredible card lads absolutely incredible card you can see all the player skills there but it's his actual stats that when they're maxed out he goes 23 levels and you've got 90 dribble and 92 speed 93 acceleration and balance of stamina is quite decent. Offensive awareness is really good. Ball control is really good as well. His passing obviously does let him down. But all with the wingers. You don't really need the passing. I don't think that high. If you're going to be cutting in. And doing tricks and getting shots off. We've also got Fabinho here on eFootballDB.com. He's a beast lads. This guy is a monster. And if you don't have Vieira. And you're looking to get an instant guy. That can just be an anchor man. And just block everything. Control everything. Be an absolute beast. This guy could be it. He does have interception. And he does have 80 one low pass and 82 lofted pass his speed that's all you need for speed trust me that's all you need for speed his defensive awareness and aggression are extremely good and then his other defensive stats with the tackling and the engagement are extremely uh, good as well as his stamina is quite high and of course he has got the unwavering form and then last but not least we look at Nene himself one of the best players in the game I will say lads my my personal opinion I think Neymar is a top three player in the game definitely I think for me I have to say it is probably in no particular order, but I would have to say Romario is probably number one for me. I would say Vieira or else Goretzka as number two and then Neymar number three or else Neymar number two and Vieira number three. Uh, of the players that I've played with, Maldini is probably in there as well, but I definitely think for me, Neymar and Romario are the two players that I have just absolutely dominated with uh, when I get on form with them. And you can see there, we've boosted Neymar's uh, dribbling and speed up. His low pass is quite decent as well for a winger if you are worried about having no passing attributes and you play on one bar or you play on the least assisted or the normal assisted speed is good acceleration is good his offensive awareness and balance are really really good his ball control dribble and tight possession i mean it's neymar lads. as i said he's top three players in the game so that is it for another pack lads i will be back quite soon with another one we're going to do player of the week and then the rest of the players neymar looks beastly as well he does have an iconic celebration that's what that card means uh, with the flashing pulsating little icon on the bottom left of the card so yeah we will talk to you in a bit lads hope you guys enjoy these reviews let me know if you're gonna get one of these packs they are quite steep at 1500 coins but let me know what the crack is i'll be talking to you guys later in the live stream peace